Hello, my name is Rick, and today I want to show you something. I've got here a replica of the Altar 8800. I built it myself, and it's actually a tribute to the first home computer ever. It was 1975 when Bill Gates and Paul Allen they read something in a popular electronics magazine. Uh, it was a uh, a kit, a computer kit you could assemble yourself, and then you had these switches and you and these LEDs, and uh, you could actually program this computer by uh, entering commands in binary values. It was very time-consuming, slow, and very complicated. But they thought, well, we can make this more accessible by adding a keyboard to it, adding a computer screen to it, and write a simple programming language for people to get started and have their own computer in their house. That's what started the computer revolution, the home computer revolution. And as the time passed, the computer started to look more like this one, like having a keyboard integrated with it, connected to a television screen, uh, running basic, and people started creating educational games, for example. I remember that I learned my topography like by flying with a helicopter over Europe using this old MSX computer there. So I think this was the late 80s. So 15 years passed, actually. So, and another 15 years later, computers started to look like this. Things so small that they will fit in your pocket. Around the same time, a new revolution started. It was the revolution of 3D printing. It was around 2005 that the RepRap project started, which enabled you to assemble your own 3D printer, just like you would do in the 1970s when you were building your first Altair computer. And it was soon followed by, in America, the uh, MakerBot project. And in Europe, in, in, in the Netherlands, the uh, Ultimaker. And this is the Ultimaker Protobox from 2010. And I happened to assemble one in, at, at that time. And it enabled me to print physical stuff, like this, uh, like this bunny. And instead of writing computer code, you could program physical stuff, which was interesting but it involved learning a new skill. I had to learn to use a complicated 3D CAD program to design stuff for my 3D printer. Or I needed to write a simple program myself, which not only I could use, but also other people without knowledge of complicated 3D programs. So that was when Doodle 3D was born very simple drawing tool which you could only make line drawings with but you could send it directly to your 3d printer so this is how the first version of doodle 3d looked like you had a drawing canvas here and you could draw something and then here you had a 3d preview with some controls here you can make your, your sketch higher and twist it a little bit and give it a certain shape on the side and then you just press print and directly it was being sent to your printer it shows the temperature of the nozzle and and then it will start printing It's really fast because it's only one outline which is being printed. So, so this is real time. <laughs> I actually quite impressed myself. things I would like to point out 
One is that it was printing really fast, so the shape I drew on the tablet was converted directly to commands for the printer. So my mouse movement, or finger movement, was actually the movement of the print head, which is a very natural way of trying to understand how a 3D printer works. And the second thing, uh, what I would like to point out is that it was printing wirelessly from the tablet. And that's because this little box here, the Wi-Fi box, um, is connected to the printer and it receives the commands wirelessly from the tablet and it controls the 3D printer. And this is something, a physical product, which we could never have realized without the help of a lot of Kickstarter backers. Uh, we did a crowdfunding campaign for Doodle 3D in 2013 already. And it was really, really great to see how many people believed in our concept and they, they helped us make our dream come true. So we could develop a team and work together on this Wi-Fi box as well as on the software. And we could really finalize the product and ship it to them. And now it's 2017 and a lot of great things happen in between. We have a great office, a nice team, we developed a new app which we launched on Kickstarter called Doodle 3D Transform and 1700 people signed up for the app and are already using it and many people followed afterwards. I think in total over 10,000 doodles already have been made with Doodle 3D Transform so that's really great. And this is how the new Doodle 3D app looks like. Still on the 2D side you have a drawing canvas but now with lots of different tools and in 3D you have a preview of your model but still the same transformations as in the original Doodle 3D app extrude, sculpt and twist that's all you need to create those things so what's next? well as long as we are in business we will keep on developing Doodle 3D transform for you and for your kids and for your school for every, for everyone so visit our website doodle3d.com and sign up for free if you like it you can buy it and if not well then then uh, then not but I'm, I'm sure you will like it it's much it's fun it's it's a lot of fun to create your own 3d stuff to be in control of your 3d printer to be a designer or just to tinker around so go to our website doodle3d.com sign up and have fun see you